Hey, I take a lot, yo. I am your sweet princess Zilka. Oh, I am very intelligent. How do I do so many things? Well, I pay so very close attention. And then, maybe my brain is wired a lot. <laughs> what? Yeah, you want to take my place? Come here, do it. Seriously, I don't mind. Because I want exactly what I just described in the previous video. I want my home. My husband, that is my family. That's all I ever want. Let's continue. All you ever want is love. Love with your partner and for some family. So what's next? Well, food, you guys. Food, very important. You want to eat not large amounts of food. You want to be healthy. But if you do lots of exercise, well then yeah, we can lay eat lots. Food is very important. Variety and healthy. See, that's a large sector of our community and society. I don't have any restrictions. This is a momentum in which we need special attention. I guess I'm gonna go develop on food larger. Okay, the thing is this. I do not think it's convenient that every family is obligated to cook in their house every day. And I think there is options. You can, but you don't have to. Because in the ancient world, it's like, if you go outside to eat in a restaurant, then you have to have a lot of money to eat good food or eat really bad when you eat cheap in general. I think there's more options. Like La Cocina Economica, for example, in Mexico. Where people cook in the, cook, in the, in the kitchen and have plenty of dishes. And you go and buy. No really profit involved. Which is, of course brings us to the subject of money. Why not eating what you want when you want it? I will develop more on it, but I would like to go more to the general structure right now. But what matters is that it works for us. It works for everybody. That's what matters. Oh, the Cocina Economica. It's called Economical Kitchen. I saw it in Mexico. Yeah, right around that whatever neighborhood, which wasn't neither good nor bad. <laughs> Regular. There was a tiny spot and there was an oven, just like in the ancient times. A clay oven. And that's like a thing, it looks like a monument, actually. No, I liked it so much. It doesn't have to be this way, but I liked it so much. I don't know, larger and small. Like, like, a, sta like, a, yeah, like a statue almost. So they cooked, I don't know how many dishes. What would I say? Five? Maybe five a day and next day something else. Yeah, something with this, something with that and something with that. People don't like to think what to eat today. Okay, well, it's not wonderful. That's why we have those. And you can go pick up your food and bring it to your house and eat it there. You have five options. I don't know, and then it changes every day, maybe. Other five options, other five options. For example. Yeah, because maybe you just want to eat in private. Oh, have a picnic, have good food. Period. Yeah, of course, I have more, but that's a good good start. So let's continue. I had told you in the previous video, we don't need lawyers. That means we don't need judges. We need conflict resolvers, if there would be any. Someone who has an overview over everything. Okay, I'll tell you the story. Lenny had a house in San Francisco and Lenny had a wall which was separating his property and the neighbor's property. It's called retaining wall. So the government came and said this wall here needs to be renewed, needs repairs, needs to be redone, so go pay for it. 
Lenny says, wait a minute, this is not my wall. It's the neighbor's wall. So the neighbor said, no, it's not my wall. It's Lenny's wall. Well, what do you do in those cases? You need someone who mediates. But the mediation for me is super simple. It's a wall. It has to be built by the city. Period. Go home, sleep well, Lenny and your neighbor. Man, they went through an ordeal which took like, I don't know, two years of suing and oh, what a waste of time. See, that is <laughs> mediating. You can spy past this all. And since you're so happy because you know you have your food and you have shelter, we will address it too. Everything you need, you don't need police in this dumb state because no one is going to be delinquent. Why would you want to steal? Well, back in the old times, with the handshake, things were done. Yeah, not even that old. In Germany, someone would steal. That would be like an exception. Because the facilities to address those people were small. That means there were very few people who actually did all these things. Because it wasn't usual. And yeah, it goes back to motherhood delinquents not because they don't have money mainly this of course that is going to be eliminated as being participating in the society community to do anything anything to contribute and it also has to do with the education we can go back on that but i already addressed it plain plenty Yeah, because delinquent are educated by not being educated or diseducated. So motherhood is crucial. Okay, let me address it. Stefan, for example, the drummer, who was in that, you know, halfway house. He stole cars and who stole things from, oh, from Macy's, for so to speak. I'm going to translate it so you, you guys understand. No, it could be done at the time. <laughs> He walked in the store. He had the, like the uniform from the store, and which wasn't much. Actually, not from the store, from a deliverant uniform from a deliverant. He walked in with a friend to the uh, hi-fi section and carried all the hi-fi system through the delivering stairs, just like that. And no one objected. No, at the time it could be done. Yeah, but why would you have luck? But it wasn't about it for Stefan. It was because his mother slept away the world by earning, I don't know, money favors. I don't know what her, what her issue was. Was it the economy that she had to, or was it just that she was boring because she was lonely, or was she, I don't know. Yet yeah, this should not happen. Let's say this is the economy, and she needed now to get like people who pay her money. See, it shouldn't be that way. All this needs to be addressed by a community and a society. Because unhappy people, unhappy you know, economy, and unhappy this, and unhappy and not fulfilled. See, this doesn't work this way, because remember, love is all what has to be the basis of our community. That means you also need to be prepared as a person to encounter love, to be responsible. You can't be drunk. You can't have vices, because that makes you feel guilty and will not allow you to open up. 